So which one of you degenerates wants to hold hands then? All of us? Disgusting. I'll do it. Let me mute the stream a sec, because games tend to boot really fucking loud on my PC, because uh, it likes to sort of force tinnitus on everybody. Sorry, tinnitus. You found a holiday? Nice! I had an annual leave day today as well. Then I got rang, and had to set up a phone. But I almost had an entire day off without having to sort of work out, so... On the, in the grand scheme of things, that wasn't that bad. I don't know how loud this is going to be, I'll put it like 34, I guess. You have to let me know how loud that is. Or if it's too loud. Or it's not loud enough. Whichever. Oh, nice, I got a nice finger. I can stick an eye. There's a bus. Nice. Remind me at the end, dude. Otherwise, I will be useless. Flickering effects is parallax effects. All right. F fair warning, then, peeps. I shall put flickery lights in here. Strobe effects. <laughs> Lude. There we go. I'll put strobe. Strobe's a good catch all for shenanigans. Find a murder princess? Maybe. I don't know. Whatever horrors you may find in this dark space have a heart and see them through. There are no, there are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. It's a love story. Oh, that's cute. Can I have full screen? There we go. Uh, flickering images on, or six off, parallax on, boil effect on. Nice. Then. Accessible. Ay, ay, Jesus! That looks fine. You said to find time to get mandatory 14 days of vacation. Wait, did you only get 14 days? Bro. Saying that, I, I get loads and I, I never get a chance to use it all. I'm using one now. I'm using two next week when I get my four hours of tattooing. That'll be fun. Ooh wee. Oh, by the way, thank you, Rai. I should have said that. My apologies. Oh, that was, should have been the first thing out of my mouth. Thank you very much for the sub and the resub. I do appreciate it. I get 33. I get 33 days. Is that loud enough, do you think, by the way? Uh, let me, I'm just gonna sort the kettle out. Two seconds. Kettle, what do you think? She's a nice looking lady. Is that the titular princess? Alright, Mugs. He accidentally takes no holidays the whole year and the company forced him to have December off. That's kind of funny. Do you reckon we can hold our hand? What do you think? Controls. Shift A, enter, space, arrow keys. Oh, it's, it's visual novel. Fine. Which makes perfect sense. I normally wouldn't do visual novels on stream because uh, all the reading makes me explode because my poor voice can't take it all. Uh, but this is narrated, I believe, the entire way through. So we don't have to. So that's kind of nice. Why are we saying the innocent... I actually don't know. We're gonna, I guess we're going to find out why I had to slay her. I'm guessing because she's a monster. But as a certified monster fucker, I'm perfectly okay with this. Like, you know, it's okay. We can make do. 
Oh, I meant certified monster slayer. Sorry, that was a Freudian slip there. Have I got a license? Of course I got a license. I applied for it on YouGov. Like every good monster fucker. Slayer. There's a lot of narration, not 100% but close. Oh, that's fine. That's right. I can read the stuff that isn't. Yeah, me too, Avarice. Uh, Bethran mentioned it to me, actually. From, uh, my buddy. But he still said, you should play this. I think you'll like it. And I was like, yeah, alright. Anytime he actually gives me suggestions for shit, I always enjoy stuff, so... Like when I was meandering years ago about what to watch, and he's like, Go watch Bacano. And I'm like, What the fuck is Bacano? And he's like, Go watch it, slut. And I'm like, Oh, right, fair enough. And I watched it, and I fucking loved it. So, you know, that's how it goes. Right, I'm gonna go pour the tea, and then we're ready to go. He also told me to watch Helix. That's true, actually. <laughs> Can't believe you've done this. Tell a man not to watch any great detail and he deliriously believes you, he told him otherwise. I remember it differently. I'm pretty sure, like, you came into a chat one day. It was like, I just watched this good show. And I'm like, alright, what's that? And just the rest is history, really. Right. New game. Beep. You're ready. The hero and the princess. I like her. You're on a path in the woods. Oh, nice. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. As a certified princess rescuer, that's a good sign. You're here to slay her. Oh. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. That's bad? Oh. Oh, okay, we got loads. The end of the world, what are you talking about? Have you maybe considered... Have you considered that maybe she's the only reason... The only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up. Killing a princess seems kind of bad, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing it. Have you maybe considered that I'm okay with ending the world? Do I get a reward? Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've always wanted to offer Monarch. <laughs> Yeah, what about the end of the world then? I'm Obvious. talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no oh, more Oh, stream trees, chat's in the wrong place, right. perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Alright, I can do that. If you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not gonna kill her. She's not dangerous. She's just a princess. The danger comes if she gets out. Which she will, unless you do something about it. Did I draw the short straw? Uh. What happens if you get out on specifics? Yeah, give me the deets. The more specifics you have, the harder it will be for you to do this very important job. She's a princess. People will listen to her, because listening to her is in their nature. And when they do, Everything will come crashing down. Wait, is the, pir the princess is Boris Johnson? Oh no. Do you have any evidence about this up? Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far. I'm getting gaslit here. Well reach the end of your journey. Is gaslighting even real? Lewd. Killing a princess does seem kind of bad, right? Does it? Are you a monarchist? Well, I am British. Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? 
If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. Regicide is frowned upon, it's true. Uh. Can't someone else do it? Oh, if only that were the case, but I don't make the rules. I mean, I've even got the spooky finger. I guess I'm the chosen one. I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. Like I said, I don't make the rules, no matter how much I wish I did. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? While I appreciate the mental exercise we <laughs> are running up against a bit of a ticking clock, nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Damn, he's got me good. Causality doesn't matter here because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Uh... I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to her, and if she's bad as you say, then maybe I'll slay her. I'm not committing to anything till I've had a chance to meet her face to face. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But, a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. There's a joke in there somewhere. Then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure, go. Talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Oh, that's me. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, okay. Proceed into the cabin. All right. Hey, TJ. The interior of the cabin is almost right, entirely up. bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. This is like quite a nice cabin, though. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I guess take the blade? You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Unless you're like more into like choking bitches out, I guess, then I guess you could just do that. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filters. Do you have demon princes? I thought are demon princesses. That'd be nice. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Yeah, she might have like mold in her lungs and stuff. That'd be bad. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Um. Wait, the princess is American? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hi. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you, question mark. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? I mean, she seems nice. Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. I mean, she's you chained up. Stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Yeah, Colin. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. I got a little stabber now. <laughs> Steal your nerves and step forward. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. But you don't have to try and kill me. 
You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. And I'm probably not supposed to, right? She makes a compelling point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Don't you dare. You like this trying to join Princess Slaying? Well, like a Warhammer archivist, man. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Mimic princess. She's not a mimic. It's fine, then. Tight, drop it or tighten your claws? Well, we're not going to drop it. What if she's got, like, 8,000 claws? You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Yeah, I mean, obviously being completely terrified of both wasps and women. This place terrifies me greatly. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. I, mean, I can always throw it at her, I suppose. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Wait, why is she gonna get out of this basement anyway? Like, if she's chained up, it looks like a pretty hefty chain. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? I can just, just hit the button to slay the princess. You go into this expecting to die. You're going to die. Uh, that's a fair point. With that kind of attitude. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? You've got two arms. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, I'm getting paid to do a job. Boss full of nuns. Orphanage. Slay princess. You charge the princess, blade trembling in your hand, but you've already lost the battle. I got a gribbly hand. She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. We shouldn't have hesitated. But she doesn't stop there. She kicks you a few <laughs> times for good measure, the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones, making sure you stay down. I mean, normally you got to pay for this kind of shit, so... That's quite nice. As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. As you gasp for air, she eyes you. I tried to slay the princess. I think we it. fucked it up, though. I had one job, and I think I did it badly. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand. And now look at you. Is this really the best you could do? Look at you. Completely broken. Eh, eh, I'd be lying if I eh. said I wasn't a little disappointed. <laughs> she applies more pressure, slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. Wow, I died in like five minutes. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Uh, Everything goes dark, and you die. Rip. I guess I got better. You're on a path yeah. in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Oh, okay then. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. What does it matter what he knows? There's nothing we can do to stop her. She's just going to kill us again. She is not going to kill you unless you let her. But slaying the princess and saving the world is going to be much more difficult than- Alright, Dad! If you spend the whole time second-guessing yourself. This is more than just deja vu. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. We've just met for the first time, you and I. Oh, alright. 
Let's assume and tell the truth and all this really did happen. Why should I listen to you and why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. That's a fair point, actually. Of course we died. We couldn't land a single blow on her, and she broke every bone in our body before she decided to let us die. What were we supposed to do to stop her then? What are we supposed to do to stop her now? It's pointless. Hey, Figgy. She's just a princess. Slaying her shouldn't have been difficult, but congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. The princess killed us and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence free to me. Yes, oh, that's fair enough. in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? If she ended the entire world, why should we even bother? We might as well just walk up to that cabin, break her chains, and let her do whatever she wants. It's all the same in the Oh end. no, our hero's got a bit nihilistic. Just because she's capable of ending the world doesn't mean you're not capable of slaying her. Both of those things can be true at the same time. So chin up. I believe in you. Oh, thanks. Uh, let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. Alright. She killed me last time, how can I make sure it doesn't happen again? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. All she did last time was beat me to death. She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. We're not. We might as well just pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending that we're capable. Voice of the broken. I guess we're not a hero anymore. I guess being killed probably makes you a bit sad. To try to overpower us. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. You're being annoying. Just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. Hmm. You're being cagey, why aren't you telling me? I told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Lewd. I mean, you see, they say this, but I feel if we add some context. The less you know about her, the better. Go in, save the princess. Go, go in, kill the princess, save mom, go down to the pub, have a pint, and wait for this all to blow over, yeah? Friggin' Shaun of the Dead style. Thank you, Jessica. Alright, well, uh... Who locked her in the basement? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. I'm being manipulated. Fine. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Alright. A warning before you go any further. Not to get killed again? She will lie. She will cheat. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I feel if I had like a gun, this would be easier. Lying? Cheating? Why would she even bother? She didn't need to do anything like that last time. She caught us off guard last time. We'll be fine. Let's just keep our wits about us. At least one of you still has a shred of sense. Just make sure you listen to him and not that whiner. Lead. Fine. Sounds reasonable. That's what you want. I guess I don't have a say here. Stop being a sad sack. Round two, it's fine. It's like a redo. Pushing F5, F9, we're good. The interior of the cabin is large. It feels like it doesn't just go. More than its humble exterior would suggest. Um. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Huh. Yes, the cabin got renovated? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small 
We don't feel small. We are small. Uh, take the blade? You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Savory. You didn't say anything about a mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Who cares if there's a mirror? <laughs> We're all going to die anyway. And I'm sure that if we looked in there, we'd just see something sad and miserable looking. I can't have a gun? That's not fair. We don't need any reminders of what we are. It would only make things worse. <sighs> the last time you're not going to die unless you let it happen and luckily for you there isn't a mirror so no one needs to worry about confronting a grisly visage any time in the near future though for what it's worth if there were a mirror I'm sure that you wouldn't find anything sad or miserable in it looking back at you you probably look perfectly normal oh I mean that's nice at least probably do you not know what we look like he knows he just doesn't have the heart to tell us I want to see your hands in my hand. Uh, I want to look myself. Please don't. I'd rather the princess kill us again than see how dreadful we are. I care less about what we look like and more about whether we're being lied to. If he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else is he hiding from us? I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? Can I break the mirror then if there's no mirror? Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement <laughs> door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. We should count ourselves lucky. Some things are better left unseen. Oh, well the mirror's gone at least. This cabin is different than last time. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. That's good. Alright. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase. It steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. Where did the mirror go? I don't know. You almost feel at ease. Shenanigans. Hmm. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Maybe it's not as moldy this time. Her booming voice rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. Mother? You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Sounds reasonable, also. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Maybe she stole now the mirror. Want to go down there? It doesn't matter what that little voice says. Lady D. She's not the one making the decisions. Though, if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Alright, well. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time consuming and exhausting. Less lady to do. Every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple like room beyond. Wait. The princess towers over you. Almost glowing in the weak starlight. Her She's a bit bigger than last time. By a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. Um. Hmm. She looks bigger. You brought that knife again, even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. Drop I could, it. I could stab her in the foot. 
Tighten my grip. As if on command, the blade what? slips from your grasp. It clatters uselessly to the floor. I got scammed. But we didn't drop it. We decided to grip it tighter, remember? Are you really just going to let that happen to us? I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is that you dropped the blade. Of course we dropped it. She's so much Towering, even. Us. I guess she's kind of towering. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Neil. What? No. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said, Neil. Your legs buckle, oh. and your knees hit the floor. Well, she's a princess. That's my good little bird. I guess no. we gotta be polite. Why don't we talk? Talk what you want. The last time we met, you couldn't even scratch me. And yet here you For are free? again, Goodness. trying to succeed where you've already catastrophically failed. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Beat pictures? I don't know. What's up? Speak. The last time we met, I suppose that lends credence to our conversation in the woods. Still, whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. She does look a bit gribbly. Remain silent. Let's do be you think oh, no. holding shut your beak is enough to stop me from prying it open? Do you think your skull can save your thoughts from being seen? Oh no, I hope she can't see my thoughts. Hmm. You're less broken than I thought. Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. Pick up that needle. Do it. It's what she wants. No objections here. Oh, fair enough then. I don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but we might as well pick up the blade. Well, presumably she's going to make us jab ourselves as with your it. eye falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses, but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. I love you got no choices here. Alright. You reach forward and grasp the blade. Stand. This one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. Yeah, we got like some sort of creepy hand okay, here. Okay, yeah. We can do that. We were probably gonna stand anyway. I'm gonna kneel here forever. I can't do anything. I hate you! You can feel a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, like two foes forced into an unhappy trance. I think I'm being pretty bad at slaying princesses, honestly. The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. Yeah, we've, uh, we've seen zero princesses so far. Broken eventually. To define me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet, Shadow. Eh, while I eh, eh. am brilliant radiance. Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. Ah, that's not good. What? What? You don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. Yeah, let's draw that. End this. Oh, we'll end this all right. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. End her. Ah, uh, I mean, easy mistake to make. Slay yourself, slay princess. Your body is sluggish and unresponsive, actively fighting against you, <clears throat> but you do your best to stagger forward. One step at a time, you move towards the princess. Slitting your throat would have been a mercy, but it seems you're in need of a harsher lesson. Mother? Plunge that knife into your lungs. I like my lungs, though. I'm sorry. Don't. As you take another step forward, the blade digs into your ribs, slicing through flesh with ease. 
it somehow feels like an entirely natural thing to do, while the simple act of walking has become an arduous impossibility. Then it slides back out, the wound burning as a small hiss of air escapes through the fresh orifice. Blood fills your lungs. I didn't need those anyway. Now, do it again. Keep doing it until <laughs> I give you permission to stop. Those are just words you don't have to listen to her. It's what she wants. You, heroic one, what are you doing? Don't just let this happen. Stop him from killing you. I'm on it. Your other hand locks around your wrist, struggling to keep it from perforating vital organs. Oh no! But the blade still flails towards you, managing to slice bits of skin that plop to the floor to join the growing pile of blood and gore beneath you. Despite the pain, you manage to keep yourself in one piece. At least for now. Well, man, that's good. We've successfully not slain a princess, but we've not slain ourselves either. What a pitiful display. A wounded little bird thinking it can defy a god. It doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to hurt so much. You can choose a gentle end. You can choose to leave that punctured vessel for the next. Slay princess! Or you can pathetically struggle against yourself until the floor we got of this. the temple is painted with the bloody impressions of your futility. I don't think she's very nice, but then we did try and slay her the first time. Maybe she's holding a grudge. You continue to approach the princess, even as the repeated gouges of your blade expose bone and muscle to the open air of the basement. It's fine. Air's good for you. You know, this would be a lot easier if you gave us a hand. My influence only goes so far, and I can only juggle so many things at once. The best I can do we haven't seen a single princess. Continue to drive you forward. Believe me, this whole ordeal would be so much easier if I didn't have to contend with free will. You're the one making things difficult. You're the one making us hurt. This is my first time playing this, yeah. To hurt us? She's just doing what she has to. Stop. Oh, okay. As you finish crossing the room, you fall to your knees at the princess's feet. Mother? Your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, the coppery taste coating your throat. The princess kneels down, lifting your chin with her finger as her face lowers to yours. I don't know, she seems pretty ordinary. Your devotion is misplaced. You've surrendered to delusion. But something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. You are different than you were before. Perhaps, if you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. There is a place at my side for you, if you'll have it. Not as an equal, but as something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps, or a pet. Honestly, I think we should just try and one-on-one -on -one her at Final Destination. No items. Well, that's the meaning, isn't it? Yes, how thoughtful of her. It's a mercy. Take it. I think he's given up whatever say he had at the start of all this. At least one of you is sane. She's within striking distance, and she's only negotiating now because she knows you have what it takes to put I've heard it's quite a good one, but yeah. Seize the moment before it's too late. Slab! No! Yes, though your body trembles, struggling to defend itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming will, you finally manage to break through, darting to her side before she can react. The wind of your freedom rushes through you, and you channel it into a decisive blow, I mean, into the soft flesh of her ankle and shit. shivering the tension. Fucking hell, are we playing a blizzard game? Look at defiance. this. Nothing but feet. She falls to the floor, crashing unceremoniously to her knees. You don't give her any time to recover. Your heart pounding with determination, you plunge your blade into her chest. As you find your target again and again, she laughs, crude emotion breaking through her once stony composure <laughs> as your blade cuts her flesh. She seems pleased about it, honestly. We can do this, can't we? You always could. The decision to give you this task was not made lightly. You're here for a reason. It's not too late to pick up the pieces. It's not too late to toss that blade aside and beg for forgiveness. 
Yeah, she's into this, maybe. Shut up. I can't believe you would actually strike me. You, you heathen, you worm, you defiler. You don't know the consequences of your arrogance. Before you can strike the final blow, the princess lashes out, knocking you off your feet. She's pretty Brazilian, all things considered. There's an unsettling wet pop as your spine breaks. Ouchie. Numbness and pain spreading through your body. As you rebound towards the ceiling in a moment of disorientated lightness, she drives her fist into your chest. Your body is crushed as she pulverizes you into the floor, the ground itself breaking from the impact. You lie there, I got broken, beyond pain, unable to even see what she's done to you. But the princess is succumbing to her own wounds as well. She looks down upon her body in abject <coughs> horror and disgust. You made me use my hands. I I can feel myself twisting into something new. Something dull, something defiled. What have you done to me? Your monsters and conspirators, I can't bear to Is this a draw? I, mean, I got her in the leggies as well. The princess has been nothing but cruel to you. You should feel liberated by her fall. But I don't feel liberated. I feel empty. She looks upset now. Aside from the pain, I feel fine. She collapses to the floor. I got an achievement for that. Her glassy eyes watch, unblinking, yet somehow still full of anguish and fear, as the two of you perish together. I suppose we were never gonna get a happy ending here, were we? Don't let those be your final thoughts. You saved the world. That's worth something. Woo! -hoo! I guess. Regardless of how you feel about it, it's finally over. Thank you. Everything goes dark. And you die. F. Chapter 3. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of the path. Okay, what the hell is that? It looks a bit squishy. I reckon we can eat it. Brogan's having a bad time. I think he really liked the princess. I think he's upset. I think he is upset. And what's he got to be upset about? We just killed a god. Well, we got a new voice now. Exactly. You heathens destroyed the most beautiful thing that ever was. Ever will be. Can't say I have much sympathy for you. She was bad for us and you almost got us killed. Yeah, sometimes it's important to have a voice that can tell you that. Sometimes it's okay to... To not, you know, not want to be in that relationship. It's fine. She was bad. You're being too generous. He did get us killed. That's also true. All right, enough chatter. I've got a thing I'm supposed to do, and if you don't mind, I'd like to do it without any more interruptions. Okay, great. You're listening. <clears throat> you're on a path, and at the end of that path is that if your thing is telling us about the princess, don't waste your breath. We know all about her. It's hardly a path in the woods at this point, is it? Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things yeah. seriously. I feel like I'm getting pulled in a hundred different directions. If we hit this point of no return, then what happens? What happens next seems like our answer is about the cabin. I'm done with this, bye. Feels like I'm being pulled a hundred different directions. Better. So what if I'm speaking my mind? It's not like I've ever really got the say in things. What a crock of shit. <laughs> he, he said. Yeah, you stabbed us last time. Repeatedly. It didn't even work. It doesn't count. We died. If you didn't submit to her, for all we know, that wouldn't have happened. It's the punishment you all deserved for not listening to me. Maybe hey, we need to stab the broken guy. Aside from our sulking friend, I don't think we have much to worry about. You're still the one in charge here, and I don't think that's ever gonna change. The second he tries something, I'll put a stop to it. Yeah, good, fuck him up. If we hit this point no return, what happens then? Then what happens? Have you even been listening? It's the end is what happens. Oh, I mean, it is the point of no return, I guess. Yeah, but is there something after the end? 
How am I supposed to know? The end means finality. It's not like I can just peek on over to the other side and tell you what it's like there. If there even is a there, it doesn't matter because we're going to win. Now that's exactly the sort of mindset I like to see. Don't let yourself be So have we technically yourself. slain a princess now then? So we won all. Everything will be absolutely so we have slain a princess. So that's good. Let's go to the cabin then. No matter what happens next, seems our answers are at the cabin. Very squelchy. Good. We're all on the same. Page. I mean, the cabin looks normal at least. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. One, two. Oh yeah, I guess you got us as well. Yeah. Within, as I'm sure you already know. End her. That's it. No final words of advice. I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. If there's still a princess at the cabin, then maybe we can salvage this. I don't think she'll get over maybe the hole we stabbed her thing, honestly. And apologize, things can go back to how they were before. That's probably a relationship breaker, I think. Oh, cut it out, will you? We need to be tough right now. You're making it so much harder than it has to be. So stop whining. All right. The interior of the cabin is a place that feels long forgotten. There was once an elegance to its construction, carved marble columns Looking a bit on like the high arched roof, vaulted windows, ritualistic altery. Starlight. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. Maybe the entire cabin is her body. Oh, spooky. That's horrible. That is horrible. You did this. Yeah, well, had to be done, didn't it? The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal. A pristine blade perched on its edge. Maybe the blade is cursed. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Is that a mirror again? A mirror? There is no mirror. There's... We've done this already. Try to keep up. The repetition is maddening. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I would know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things or you're confused on the definitions of door and mirror. Or you're seeing things. That seems far more likely. It's probably fine. What are you trying to say exactly? He thinks we've lost it. That we're succumbing to madness. That something in us has broken. That's an unnecessarily melodramatic way to describe a hallucination, but sure, I'm not going to waste time arguing with any of you. It went away after we touched it last time. Let's just do it again. I'm sure it's not thematically appropriate. Let's take the blade then. You take the blade from the pedestal. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? How strange. I see a mirror, dude. It really is, just like last time. Are we really hallucinating? Why here? Why now? I feel the narrator might have to tell us some more things about this. Smash it. Smash it to pieces. It's the only thing mirror. us from her. Don't you want to know what we'll see in there? We won't be able to see anything if we smash it. Nah, I'm with him on this one. Smash it! Let's get violent already! Do whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting dangerous amounts of time. Well, it's not like the princess can see it yet, is it? Wipe the mirror clean. Reach forward and drag your hand across the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides Goodbye, away, mirror. scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? You step forward into the darkness. What mirror, I guess, yeah? The stairs leading down to the basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. Look a bit squidgy. The high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom quick, beyond quick, your sight, quick, 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 while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed and claustrophobic. The air is thick, its odour an oppressive... I guess it doesn't smell like incense anymore. The metallic scent of fresh blood, twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. 
If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Yeah, probably also. Her voice, a bellowing rage, roars up the stairs. Was severing the tendons of my ascension not enough for you? Was it not enough to rend my divine heart? She's holding a grudge. I did wonder. Come see the horrors you've wrought upon my flesh and feel my hands set upon your throat. She's definitely upset. See how you've soured my once divine melody. She's so... She is pretty pissed. I think I'd be upset as well. Why did you desecrate her? Why couldn't I stop you? You've got to stop thinking about her like that. It isn't doing anyone any good. She's not some untouchable god. She's an abomination. And we're going to put an end to her once and for all. Whatever she is now is our fault. I guess we should have stabbed her better an initially, maybe? Then what does that make us? It doesn't matter what we are. She needs slaying, and we've got the means to do it, so let's get a move on. Oh, thank you, Kane. If interesting to shut that out at some point. You didn't make her into an abomination. She's always been what she is. It's why you're here, and it's why your task is so important. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see what we're doing, shall we? You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls are painted in blood, a deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams oh, she looks all right. and charred corpses that I was expecting worse, floor. to be honest. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. The princess stands in its centre, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a still chained up, though. of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets I get it. Flesh. She's upset. I'd probably be upset. And then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. It plops to the ground. She pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. That's pretty hardcore. She is loose, and she is coming for you. Oh. Let her end it. It's the punishment you all deserve for what you did to her. It's the punishment I deserve for letting it happen. Screw that. We can win. We've done it before, and we'll do it again. Only this time we'll make it out the other side. Hell, she's practically done most of the work for us. What happened to you? Right, we're not supposed to talk to her, right? We're supposed to just go for her. Slay the princess. Your heart free of fear. You charge towards the princess. Your eyes locked. Questions for another day, I guess. Have you prepared to lay down your very essence in one blow? It's now or never. Let's make it a beautiful blaze of glory. With a horrifying squelch, you are unwound. Oh no, I need to be wound. No, 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 that's our stuff. She can't just do that. In it. She just did. Unfortunate, I know, but reality is reality. You should all just be grateful she's decided to keep us alive. Even in her defilement, she is merciful. We're not out for the Count just yet. You damn cheat, are giving my insides back. I only killed you last time because you were in the world. We can talk ourselves back from this ledge. It's quite funny. I killed you. I swear on everything that I'm going to find a way to kill you again. Where is this all supposed to end? We can't just keep killing each other forever. Now nah, let's go. Your ham. Skin flayed and organs <laughs> flapping. You charge towards the princess. Uh, That's right. She'll never stop us. Flap away. Still, you defy your god. I've made the mistake of underestimating your resolve before. Never again. You swing for her heart. What's left of you, uh, explodes. Yay! So that's it. It's over. Just. Like that. Of course it's over. 
It's been over yeah, she was a bit like, what the fuck, dude? First moment we laid eyes on her. Yeah, but the Klingons also fought triples, so, you know. This is the final note of your discordant melody. You will not return again, because you will live in that single tone forever. No. No! It's not over. We're a god killer. We've returned from death itself twice. Stubborn's pretty stubborn about that. Didn't you hear her? We're not dead. What's the difference? From many perspectives, there isn't one. But functionally, that is, from your perspective, the difference is massive. You are entirely laid bare, spread to each corner of the room, yet you are wholly aware of the state you're in. That's unfortunate. Incapable of movement, but entirely capable of perception. In fact, perceiving your state is the only thing you can currently do. You are preserved, perfectly, in the amber of her torment. We're more than this. We've lost bodies before. We just have to lose this one and make another. Shed this vessel for the next. How are we supposed to lose this one? I don't know. You're <laughs> the one who makes things happen. So make it happen. That's reasonable. She's going to get worse. She gets worse every time we get to the new cabin. Who said anything about getting to a new cabin? No, we make something new here. It won't matter if you do. Stop it, something's pretty hardcore. Apart again. And preferably, we make something without him. Let's do it. Absolutely not. What? I refuse to let you just decide to die with your task unfinished. If you die here, the world is doomed. Dude, I'm spread into multiple corners. But you do die, there's a great release as you lose your grip on what's left of your flesh and blood. And yet you're still here. Your Honor, where the hell are you? Are you already at the Princess? This place is different. Rotten. Death all around us. I want to go back. We got a new voice. Return already. And I remain here. Is this our final destination? The princess tilts her head to look at you and with a gesture. You are unwound. Again? Already? Clearly I left you with too much room last time. Perhaps this cell will hold you better. You know what to do. Again. Again. Again, you relinquish your body, and again, you find yourself here, but somewhere else. Honor, she's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Oh no, the holy voice is in. You, guy who describes things, you better start saying what we do this time. And what are you doing? Attacking her, obviously. Right, right. You charge towards the princess, and... There is no spark in you. Only matter devoid of life. You explode. Damn it! Again. <laughs> We're behind you this time. We've got the element of surprise. You let yourself go and you're living once on more. Path. We are not on a fucking path. I have no idea where we are. Voice of the cheated. We're in the middle of a fight, so act like it. Wait, that's not canon. We can't be like one in five. This is still this is still three. She hasn't changed. Or is that because we haven't stabbed her? So you are. Okay, you dive towards the princess and we're unwound. Yes, her head swivels creakily on her neck, fire in her eyes as your body unravels with blinding pain. No! Alright. Again. <laughs> Again. You fucking doomslayer in this shit. You have no body, you exist, you are reborn. No, no, no time. You narrate now. You, yes. Uh, of course, a uh, pristine blade glass firmly in your hands, you fly towards the princess before she can turn to face you. Woohoo! We might actually do it this time. I can feel that body of yours slicing through the air. How many more times will I have to scatter you? Until, it until we're done. As she turns towards you, the very essence of your being begins to flip. Hail Satan! Your muscles, then organs, then nerves laid bare and screaming as the rest of you is stripped of substance. Oh, boo hoo. It's just a body. It's true, we can make another one. It just needs to last long enough to sink this blade into her heart. It doesn't last. You are disintegrated. Damn it! Everything goes dark. But there's no there is no you to die. How many times do I need to pulverize you before you finally understand? You are nothing. An empty void that dared to dream it was alive. Feels right. If we're nothing, then why are we still here? 
Because we always have been. If we're nothing, then how can we do anything? Stubborn's having none of it, right? The same way. Oh look, I got I got a new mouse. Have. I got like a spookier mouse. Being nothing has never stopped us. Now end this. End her. You cannot win if you cannot be. End this. A force race towards the princess exposed heart. Thread of texture pulled from an all-encompassing nothing. Oh, handy. How? I scattered the atoms you clung to and there was nothing there to find. You can't exist. She doesn't need that, right? The threads pierce her heart and cradle her spirit. It's over. Oh. I think I understand you now. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do the things I did to you. I... I don't think I knew what I was doing. Oh, that's alright then. She sounds genuine. They always do in the end. It's cold, but I'm going to be okay, right? Yeah, probably. Latest nerd. You do not get the chance of responding, it's taken her away and it's left something else in her She's place. Cool. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go look for her. The narrator's gone. He is. Does that mean the world ends? Yeah, did we win? He was never going to outlast us. The world didn't end. We're still here. Come on. We just need to keep going. I don't know where she went. Right. She's gone. It's just us and that. I think we won. Awful thing. I think she's slain. It's like it's mocking us. Probably. Don't bother looking for her. I'm sure it's just a waste of time. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. Ignore the cowards. You have to look. I mean, I have to look. I'm begging you. Don't. Do this. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels. I don't know. Final. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. We got our arm back. That's nice. Signs you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. Time for you to see what's in it. It's you. Oh, you know, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. You're alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. Uh-oh. She doesn't look very happy. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Bird monster? Question mark? What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. Oh, that's nice. We're probably gonna get on really well then. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Are, we, are these two like two eldritch scribblers? The gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is desecration. She placed the weight of her agony on you, yet it is she who unwound herself. There is passion and empathy buried under her unfeeling skin. She will make for a weathered heart. She's probably fine. Do not mourn her. She has finally found peace. I don't know. If she ends up playing Nightcry, I'm sure it'll resurrect her. Terrible thing. You know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Oh, I don't. The space we're in is vacant. Oh no, hand holding. Nothing comes here but us. You know about the... Are you the princess? Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope, 
as I witness you. He was the world record for what? Nightcry? <laughs> Who knows? Weird. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? That's true. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. That sounds fair enough. Now for Dragon Guard style, oh, could you imagine? Attack the body? Attack the entity, destroy your body. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. This feels like we need to go back and like get other endings so that something else happens here, is what that sounds like. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. Oh no. How many more pieces do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? Nah, that's boring. And what if I don't let you do this to me? I'll send to the princess, stop her destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're gonna do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. That's a nice non-answer, crazy creature. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Alright, fine. She asks Make that me forget. I tell you to remember her. You won't. Rip. You're on a path Lude. in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. I got some chivos. What did I get? In the of that cabin is a princess. Quantum break. Three percent of players find the means to triumph over an angel scorned. The body. It's you. Ninety-three percent players. What is that? Do I find something weird or something here? Bring the fury to her. What the fuck? I have no idea what any of this means. Cryptic bullshit. It- I'm- I don't know, it's- I'm trying to work out what that could have been about. Like, some sort of creature that wants us to find more variations of the princess slash times, I guess? Found something that was entirely new to the pristine car update. Oh, did I, did I stumble into something, did I? Thank you for the biggest noble. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. You can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting tab on your keyboard. Oh, okay. Turn around and leave? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Nope. The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's we talking out. about. That's what the? It looks like this path <laughs> scam also leads to the cabin. How convenient! Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Turn around again and leave again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like dies, dies, forever. 
Damn it! <laughs> Maybe I'm sugar. That's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill something for them. When I said everyone, I meant everyone. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. She's some sort of gribbler, though. And, last I checked, you're part of everyone too. So if you think about it, walking up to that cabin and slaying her is really in your best interests as well. Damn it! <laughs> but fine, you turn around and Yay! trek back down the path you came. Thank you. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say... Scam! It seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Oh yeah, well I guess I'll just start walking a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to keep trekking through the wilderness so I find a way out. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. Welcome. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realise that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, <laughs> there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin. This seems fine. Cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? Well, you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. Yeah, more or less. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend <laughs> aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Woohoo! We did it! Wait, what? I... I guess the world got better? <laughs> You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't... It will hmm. be the end of the world. He's put like a fence up, yeah. Well, I died. The whole world ended. What am I doing here? The walls were in here last time. You can't force me into the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows. Voice the contrarian. He's like a captive audience. He might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin, but I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin his day. I like the sound of that. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you can pull that off. Yes. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet, and you are never going I to boost the game audio. Yeah, if you want Stuff me to. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. How's that? <laughs> Lie. Yep. Okay, heading to the cabin now. I'm definitely going to slay the princess. If I can't run away from the cabin, I'm just going to stay here in the woods forever. Oh, that's clever. A little. Boring, though. It's extremely boring. <laughs> Can we really do that? Can we really just do nothing? No, you can't just do nothing. You have to do something. Alright, so it's decided. Even if it's boring, we're going to do nothing. Forever. Nice. Congratulations. You continue to waste everyone's time <laughs> and do nothing. Wait, can you still hear me? What is that weird feeling? It's like I'm barely even here anymore. Hello, cat. You hear the watch as well? Well, it's not nothing, that's for sure. Does that mean we messed up? There's something funny about just refusing to do anything. 
The world I'm around you is unwound. It's physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. The distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder if something other comes close. You already know what dwells in the empty spaces. It's the hand creatures again. Healers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You're no longer alone. Confusion. Why are you here? I'm unfinished. Resistance. Fingers drag... Finger drag... Fingers drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. It is useless to us if it doesn't bring more gifts. Force pushing against your will. No, you cannot go back. Not there. Regret. This world is broken beyond repair. We must weave something new. A wagging finger. There's only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. I'm our only salvation. <laughs> I just I got binned for not doing what I was told. Path in the woods. Sorry. And at the end. Oh, we can hit tab to basically go to the. What you want me to do it again and then go back into? All right. Okay. Okay, I'm serious. Uh, mm, I don't have an option to not do that, so. Okay, thanks for telling me don't what to do. It. It's all part of the job. <laughs> oh. I didn't you have an option to leave this time. Short path to the cabin. Yeah, I, I couldn't, I don't think. We have to go into the cabin, I guess. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. What are you looking the only for? furniture yeah. of note is Not a plain dirty. wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. I can't go back to that route now? Yeah, fuck it, it's fine. Alright, so we'll take the blade. You take the blade from the table. And then we go to the basement. I guess I hit tab to skip anything we've seen before, right? Is that is that fair enough? Like The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. Yes, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. All right. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Last time we said something, she didn't we? She sounds dangerous. It's all... all right. Continue down the stairs. I guess we don't say anything this time. We just go give her a stab. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She's looking nice at this There's time. a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Are you okay? Are you okay, kitty? You want my attention? I'm petting you, but I'm sorry. She's so coldly beautiful. No, Is last time really we... I think we try world. and kill her this time if we can. Focus we'll try and li we'll listen to the narrator, because we like, we'll just shank her straight away. And yeah. there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Steal your nerves and step forward. Is this the same? You step forward. No. Your grip on the blade. We, we haven't. We haven't given it away yet, right? Off. Oh no, we have. Okay. Drop the blade. I'm not dropping the blade. So the printer. Does this, does this end up being the same? Because last time I talked to her first, right? Am I gonna accidentally work my way into the? You lunge oh, no. forward without a moment. She looks hesitation. a bit worried this time. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh, this is it, isn't it? Right, sir. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder, do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? No, but we're going to give it another go. It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. 
that arrogant look still plastered on her face. Yeah, I got it. But is it over? Really over? It's probably fine. Of course not, that was far too easy. Of course it is, she's dead. Let's convince herself. Yes, exactly. It's over. Rip. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Sorted. Job done. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? Nah. Job's done. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. Perfect. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Leave. Sorry, I can't see the chat at the moment. There's the a cat door, sat in front. Ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. That's good. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. No, don't Instead, attack the cursor. Find is nothing no. at all. No meows. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. Oh, that's good. That's bullshit. Let me out of here. Oh, okay. I was aiming for a better, better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Oh, Time awesome. passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful... Stop attacking my cursor, cat. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? Hey, didn't you hear the narrator? We're happy. Hell no. Do you have any idea how, how to get us the heck out of here? I do. But you're probably not going to like it. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Damn it. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Well, that's not ideal. This place is kind of cosy. Do you not? There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Wouldn't using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? I can't see what the other set says. You're right, I didn't like the idea I'm just going to stick around and do nothing, at least for a little while longer. How astute. You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you, and you shouldn't do it. In a sense, we'd die, but looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's nothing. Come on, kitty. It's absolutely nothing. It's just Come the same thing. Come here. Constantly. Come forever. Come here. <laughs> right, there we go. See again. I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. I feel the narrator's trying to screw me again. I'm not risking death through a weird hunch. I don't think I have it. You're right. I didn't like the idea. I'm just going to... Right, come on. Get him on. Right. You better be right there, so I'm very upset if we die, die. What do you reckon? Should we stick around or should we die, die? Cat gets hurled across the room. No, cat gets carefully placed on the floor. Alright. If we die, die, you can yell at me all you want. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you ingrate. Fine, whatever. For the first <laughs> time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. There's not even a shower here. 
The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Woohoo! The Rip. end. Nice knowing you. Thanks, Dorita. The Spectre. Mm. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, you bastard, you're in for it now. Why is your tracks? My tricks? The tricks. What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. That's fine. It wasn't very hard to kill her last Oh, the cold's back again. We'll just do it again. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Uh, proceed to the cavern, I guess. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. She won't be a problem. <laughs> the cold's just like having none of it. Damn. He's so icy. The interior of the cabin is cold. A soft the mirror's back. Of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. The blade is your implement. It's just Raven, yeah, just here to murder. To do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. I was looking a bit dilapidated. Oops. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already, said the voice of the girl. Sorry, I, I accidentally clicked. Approach the mirror, tape the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. We've already done the mirror stuff, right? We, we, we know we're a goblin, so I guess we'll go into the basement and just... Let, let's be all business, I guess. Let's be all business. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust. So are we jumping between dimensions each time? Lungs as you I wonder. breathe in the stale air. Different timelines. The building itself feels dead. Or the blade the itself is some sort of like. Slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. What if the blade is like? The room below is silent. Manipulating and stuff. He's here. Naturally, as much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the Rip. final step, <laughs> the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body. Lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay. She's definitely dead. She does seem to be dead. It's just Oops. before you have a chance to finish right. your thought, the top of her head appears from underneath the floor. Oh, she a ghost! Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head, Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? Hello. G -g 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 ghost She's got a little extra, oh. I stabbed her. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's yeah, ooga ooga. supposed yeah. to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Is it also playing now? I'm not quite sure why, but... Orbit, gently fine. running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Cute. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your Noble skin. and crab, you can't. You're Both of you are peasants. So you're not, you're not nobles, body. you can't. Well, noble might be She's noble, right I guess. There. Crab can't. Sorry, dude. That means we could kill her again, if we wanted to. Slay the princess, wait until things play out. 
I mean, she says she has issues with how it played out, but she's gonna have way more issues when we give her a stab. Without a moment's hesitation, you lash out with your blade. Stab. It's like you're slashing at air. Damn it. No matter how many times you stab at her, no matter how many angles you strike from, all you manage to do is interrupt her form, the skin of your hand prickling with cold as it passes through, unable to find anything solid. Cast blade is shit. Hmm. Hmm. You're adorable when you're confused. But I didn't say you could touch me. That's true. Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job, or what? Yeah, you know, all business, isn't it? If I knew I'd sought you again, I wouldn't have slain you. Ouch. I died too, and I'm not floating around like you are. What happened? Why am I different? Why are you different? Not playing the victim, you threatened me last time. Play the princess harder. Well, I guess that's not gonna uh, do anything, is it? I guess we should might as well talk to her at this point. I like to not blame around. What happened and why are you different? You don't look dead, killer. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. And you don't feel that either. Is she feeling her pulse? That, that, that's kind of how it goes. Pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. I've tried to leave on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, if even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. I just want to go home. I'm so cold and alone here. Yeah, but you did though. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. After all, you owe me. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us. Yeah, a little bit sus, she is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone She looks so sad with the her. little jack skeleton face. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. <sighs> you won't like how things play out if you go down this path. What if I say no? This will be temporary. If I let you go, will you be in control? Before we get anything, we need to talk about what happens after you leave this place. Sounds great. The answer's no. I need to think on this. Hmm. I mean, if we're trying to be all business this run, then we should, like, say no. And maybe next time we talk to her some more. Hmm, let's see. Well, the only thing is, I can't, you said I can't go back to these routes if I do them, right? So if I say no now, we won't get the possession stuff again, I guess? Yeah. What happens to the world after I saw you in the world? And what? You just believed that? You killed me without giving it any thought? That's cold. That's rich coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. Oh, you can save it, can you? Oh, so you can make different empty you can make slots. Oh, okay. She is right, though, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of her. I think you can end up doing some of the same versions, you never take the exact path. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You can, you can... Oh, the autoplay circle. Ah, thank you.
Mm. So there really was a last time, and you really did manage to slay her. I would have liked to think I was the first, but there's no point living in denial. The first? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this. Don't underestimate your own capabilities. If you truly managed to slay her last time, that doesn't mean she wasn't a threat. It means you did something heroic. Threats come in all shapes and sizes. A misspoken got a little word could bring though. about the end of everything just as much as a blade or even the mere existence of an idea. Okay, you come back for more. You were chosen for this job for a reason. That's right, killer. I'm not a threat to anyone. Oh no, that's very sussy. Stop, 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 stop. I'm hardly a threat anymore, wouldn't you say? You didn't answer my question. The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. Hello, kitty. It's still the only thing I want. You still didn't answer my question. Even if you don't want to end it, does letting you out mean the end of the world? It does. We're not asking you. We've heard your whole speech already. I really, really don't know. I'm not lying to you. I promise. The world doesn't matter. All I like remember is that I'm supposed to be there. There? Not here? I'm just supposed to be a part of it. It's its home, I think. But what does it mean for anything, Dad? I ended, but I also didn't. And you ended too. But here you are. And you don't even look any different. I'm not so sure endings. But what's are different you? about the pristine cut, I wonder? I assume more endings and other stuff. What are you gonna do if I hope we get out of here? I don't know. Maybe I'll, Maybe I'll just fade away. away. Finally, Finally able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Maybe I'll haunt you. Okay. It's a tough question, asking someone what she's going to do with her life. More endings, ah, uh, okay. The princess leans in close and pauses, the frigid air between you stale and unmoving. Especially when it's someone is dead. She pulls See, back saying shit like that, <laughs> it's why you should probably not get to leave. I don't think most living people could answer that, either. Does anyone actually know who they are or what they want? Well, where are you going to end the world? I don't know. I just wanted to leave. I still just want to leave. Stop playing the victim you threatened me last time. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I already did that and I wouldn't have... wouldn't be hard to do it again. You know, if I knew I... Uh, you're dead, or at least most of it. After I killed you, this cow, I want to say, teleported. It wasn't in the woods anymore. Time stopped meaning, and I had to kill myself to escape. There's lots of different choices. That's kind of interesting. Slay the princess. We worked out we can't slay the princess. She is, she is a ghost. We have to give her the old piece off ghost. After I killed you, this cow, and teleported. You poor thing. That must have been so frightening for you. You should manipulate me! Stab her! You know, after everything we've been through, it's nice to see someone finally sympathising with us. That is actually true. This whole thing's been an ordeal, hasn't it? She doesn't mean it. It serves you right. I was pretty scared too, when you stood there not saying a word with a knife clenched in your fist. But now you know how bad it hurts to get stabbed in the chest. It sounds like you got exactly what you are owed. See, why would I let you possess me? You've got some hateful feelings going on here, princess. I think we're gonna have to, like... I give it some thought, and the answer is no. Oh. Is that how it is? That's... so sad. I guess we'll have to fight, then. Yeah, I guess so. The princess passes through you, a chill rippling along your skin, a disappointed sigh echoing in your ears. 
You turn and face her as she hovers between you and the stairs. Spectral tears streak down her cheeks as she places a translucent hand on your chest. It feels cold, but otherwise like nothing at all. Are we doing the right thing? Why do I feel so sad? It's because she's got a sad look on her face. Don't let her get to you. It doesn't matter. Somehow, soon, this too will be over, and we'll move on to something new. I feel like you all keep forgetting that. Her dark-rimmed eyes fall to the floor as she speaks. I never wanted to have to hurt anybody. It's not who I wanted to be. She says that, but she quite literally blew me up like 15 times in a row. The tears on her cheeks vanish. She lifts her head, sorrow replaced with wrath, staring into you with fiery anger. But I guess you've turned me into something worse. Eh, I mean, you know, we're all a product of our upbringings. She forces her hand into your chest, and then... Yes? Nothing happens. Are you sure about that? So something should have happened. And yet it didn't. We're fine. But she's a ghost. Did you miss? No. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. The horrific splintering, the squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. I'm done, Aston. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owed. Starting with your body. If you won't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. She's real now. If she's making us dead, we should return the favor. Say the princess. You swing your blade Damn towards it. her briefly corporeal throat. Oh wait, nice. Connects. A gash widens across her neck, glowing ectoplasm leaking from the wound. But it's too little, too late. In her hand, you realize she clutches your still beating heart. It thumps unsettlingly. That's rude. Did we get her? Even if we didn't. We've given her something to remember. <laughs> the cold's just uh, up for just going for the murder. See you soon, killer. I'm afraid you'll never know. As she crushes your precious organ in her hand, everything goes dark. And oh, sorry, I think I accidentally skipped the end. The wraith. You're on a path in the wood. And here we go again. Off to slay her. Again. The deck's stacked, isn't it? All oh, the sheets are there again. We start again. She kills us as a goddamn ghost. We start again. I'm starting to think we're being run in circles just for the sake of it. Come on. Let's not give in to all that misery just yet. There's got to be a way out of this. There's got to be a right answer. Yeah. And what if there isn't? Aren't you listening to me? What Get if all, all spidery. Of this was rigged from the start? That's ridiculous. There'd be no point in all this if it was just some kind of cosmic busy work. It's one of the roots with strobe lighting in it. Ah, okay. So just a fair warning for anyone who gets affected by strobe lighting, then I think that's might exactly want to just listen rather than watch. The powers that be, seeing how many ways they can screw with us. Could be it's all some kind of sick joke to them. Okay, so you've already been here. Twice, even. Great. Then let me poke a few holes in your depressing little theory. Nobody here is screwing with you, and I can't imagine any scenario where you would have started over after slaying the princess. Well, we didn't have to start over. We killed ourselves. And why, pray tell, did you do that? Because you decided to foist an infinite tedium on us. True. That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> if I'd had everything my way, you would have effortlessly slain the princess, saved the world, and been given your happy ending. The ending was the tedium. You locked us in a cabin and sent that cabin to an endless void, and then you told us we were happy. That's true, I don't think we were happy. Well, were you happy? No. Of course we weren't happy. That's why we killed ourselves. It was awful. Yes. And then she killed us. Yeah, it's true she did. Even though she was already dead. This is all fake. Fraudulent. Okay, let's try to get back on track. Okay. You're real. Key the number princess two, sir. is real. The world is real. The people in the world are real. And the danger she poses to all of them is also, quite unfortunately, real. 
whatever you did the first time, it sounds like it almost worked. So how about you give it one last try? Because killing yourself seems to undo all the good you almost managed to accomplish. All this standing around and talking is boring. Let's at least do something. Maybe we'll kill it's her. It's Malkavian again. coded, exactly. Maybe they know. We'll... They know. Maybe we'll even free her. Yes, kitty. Are these in the room on the other loops? You were quick to accept that we've been here before. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. That's a hedge, not a wager. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. So yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. They've clearly all been through some harrowing <laughs> experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. Sounds reasonable. Uh, let's see. We've killed him. We've been killed by her. Neither of these things have gone well for us. We're gonna f if we're going to keep full through this loop forever, eventually we're going to have to let her out. <laughs> what happens if we don't go to the cabin? We, we know that already. There's something else we haven't tried, turn around and leave. Let's... Mm, let's go to the cabin. You let's... continue down the path towards the cabin. Let's see what the cabin's got in store for us. It isn't long before your steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. The more he talks, the more I'm interested in setting her free. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. It sounds like somebody's <laughs> about to crack. Are you trying to use reverse psychology on me or have you given up? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. Would you look at that? We won. Take it however you will. Alright, into the cabin we go then. The interior of the cabin is long and dark, Spooky a single narrow here. hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. Always a mirror, isn't furniture it? of note is... Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Great. Something else has been taken away from us. Cheated feels a bit hard, Dumbo. I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's pretend there's a mirror at the end of the hallway and right behind it, we can't see behind it what's there, what's behind it. If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. The way to the basement? Don't you mean door? No, I didn't say door. Because there isn't a door, it's just an opening. Huh. What are the odds she's waiting for us right behind it? If I were running a bullshit factory, it's what I'd do. Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you. Certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. He can't see the mirror. The knife is gone. Defying his expectations. Who the hell is here. calling the hey. shots here? Nobody is calling the shots. That's how reality works. All right. The you mirror. Slowly make your way towards the gaping moor that awaits. It's not a moor, damn it! Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation. The chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. We've always been watched. You're watching us right now. Sometimes the feeling is just stronger than others. I feel like you're trying to put us on edge. We don't need all this anticipation. We just need this to be over. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway. I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Wipe the mirror Here clean. You reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. Nothing. <laughs> it's like this place read our mind just to mess with us. What you looking at, killer? 
staring into the void. Oh, thank goodness, you said. You'd like to die again? I know exactly how you feel. Shit. Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Oh, nice. Your heart skips a beat, standing for free? in shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Your bones snap. Uh, Icy pain radiates uh, up from the break. She did say she wasn't going to ask this, though. your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse. And you collapse with them. You're met with the terrifying visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. I didn't realize we we're going to the proctologist's office today. Oh well. But do you know how I feel? I gave you a path to forgiveness. I gave you a chance to make things right. I thought maybe you'd seen what you've done and feel remorse. Paper legs every time. You tried to make it up to me. But no. You'd rather use that knife to keep making the same mistake over and over and over. Even after I ripped your heart out, you still cut me. And for what? I didn't go anywhere. You didn't banish me. I'm right back here with you. A little better, a little worse. Well, maybe a lot worse. So, here's how this is going It seems to be the blade, doesn't it? I don't know whether it's important or not, but the blade seems to be changing things each time. And you? You get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. I say we let her do it. But something different. Do we even have a choice? You always have a choice. Maybe before, but not now. There isn't a blade this time. You said if I've only tried to kill her. That's true. The next time I'll try and be nice to her. Exactly. What choice is there if there isn't a blade? Well, unless you have any specific ideas. I think my vote's the only one. Look, even now I killed you and then you kill me, war under the bitch, right? I'm a victim of all this too. Wouldn't possessing me against my will make you no better than me? Do you need to set my body, can't I just open the door for you? Struggle. You violently struggle against the princess, but all you manage to do is grind the fragments of your splintered ankle together. You can't shake free from her now. It's so easy to make you scream. And I won't be crueler than I have to be. I don't even want to cause any more damage. It'll be hard enough for me to walk out of here on that broken ankle. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Filthy. Her torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. I wasn't involved in something. Not like this. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. And whose fault is it there isn't a weapon here? Yours, I assume. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Whatever you did in those previous lives of yours, you really messed up. Did he stop clawing the screen? Are you seriously trying to blame this on us? Your vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. I mean, that's fair enough. Oh. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's does seem a bit mad. reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. It's so cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Snap, ah, crackle pop. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against <laughs> the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. You're right, you just wanted to sit in the middle of the desk. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> there's another option, you know. Don't help. Either of them. Flip the table. It's like trying to talk on team speak, isn't it? What? <laughs> that gap where the mirror was. I don't think it goes anywhere. Let's throw ourselves into the abyss. You wait there. You now. 
your body, still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. Like she's yelling underwater, I guess she's in our body. <laughs> Throw your body into the abyss. Yay! In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Lude. Capillaries burst. Get thrown, muscle nerd. Muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have to cover is far shorter. Enough is enough. I'm tired of us always losing. It's just a step away. Using the princess on Richard Hypercam. Hypercam, what, three, maybe? <laughs> Whee! You throw everything you have against her and manage, for one brief moment, to overpower the princess's hold on your body. But that moment was all you needed. Your foot slips a few inches, and you collapse <laughs> forward, the darkness swallowing you whole. They really like the cursor in this game. Both of the cats are obsessed with this cursor. I don't know why. I think we've explored. I don't. Kitty, off the keyboard. Off the keyboard. Off the keyboard. No! <laughs> Stop that. Her thought slips through you, unheeded, as you fall and fall. <laughs> what an end. But at least it's ours. An empire of frigid nothing. I don't think this qualifies as saving the world, but... At least you didn't ruin it. What happens now? But I want to know what he thinks happens now. Oh, and why is that? You and you and you and you and me. Nice. He's gone. But... Hello. Someone have lost your season, you feel something. A mass, a grove torn out of you. You and the prince have looked at each other for a short moment. What? What is happening to me? Oh. Layers. But you don't answer her before she's gone. You feel resistant underneath your feet once more. Memory returns. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but not the end for me. It's gonna be okay, just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like, looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. It's going to do something to us. I can feel it. You don't need to comfort them. It's not the end. Whatever on the other side is going to be nice. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. okay. If you say so, we will trust you. So, this is all going to work out. Whatever makes you happy. Let's go, baby. Approach the mirror. Gaze into my reflection. Signs you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. The bloat. You've grown the achievement. You've grown. Find yourself in the long quiet again. Proceed to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach her. When I found you in the long quiet alone, I was terrified. What if you had decided to let me wither? But your commitment now is final. Your ability to walk the path of mutual annihilation is vanished with your return. If you still wish to obliterate me, it will have to wait until I am complete. Spine holding is the lutest. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. 
I am more than I was before. Are we growing ourselves an Eldritch Gribbler? I mean, that's always fun. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern. Eldritch girlfriend, Grimlo. Ah, well, could be worse, I suppose. And carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. When I go back, if the woods will walk across around me, why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Sounds reasonable. You've been kinder to me than everyone else I've met, why? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Then to destroy your body, I'm ready to go back. Can you give me a straight I'm answer? Sorry, words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. Oh shit, we're gonna get ghosted. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Do not worry. There are no wrong answers. And Wait, why are you booing me? Eliminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Uh, do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others. So Ghosted by Wraith. I know, right? I thought that was good. She will make for a driven heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Uh. What do you feel about me? These vessels I've been bringing you, I've been hurting them. There is a hurt that dwells in them, but they are not me. They are thoughts and perspectives. They are feelings that inform my being. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I cannot be as I was before. There are new spaces that I must fill. You seem to nice. I'm ready to go back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Just glocks us. Poof. All right, I think I will pause it here before doing another path. run. So we'll save it here, I guess. There we go. Because these are these are they're about an hour each, aren't they? So I don't want to get crack into another one before we uh, before doing that. That's really interesting so far. I'm in, I'm enjoying it. It's really it's very strange. I'm guessing we're sort of uh, helping. Some extra dimensional being or something, I don't know. It's very cool though. I'm I'm in, definitely interested to see where like where this goes and what sort of happens. It is a very cool game, isn't it? If you're planning doing other creepy visual novels, I'm not really like I like, personally, I like visual novels, I do, I enjoy them, but a lot of them don't have full narration like this, which makes them a bit awkward to stream, because that's a lot of reading, which basically just kills your voice pretty hard, like, quite a lot of the time. And some of the visual novels are, like, 20 to 25 hours long, like, especially some of the, like, the burlier ones. So they're, they're definitely not, uh, they're, they're not, like, casual sort of streams. I'll have a look at it though, yeah. I do like me some visual. I really enjoyed the letter, for example. I thought that was quite a fun, ghosty, spooky visual novel, for example. Forget the raid, your time is off by an hour. Oh, that's a shame. Alright, well, in that case, we will raid Ollie. We will raid Ollie instead.
In that case, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you, Bethany, if you're still here for the suggestion. It was uh, actually really good. I thought I thoroughly enjoyed that so far. I look forward to doing more of that. And uh, yeah, I will catch you all tomorrow for some more shenanigans, no doubt. Do take care, everyone. It's been fun. I'll see you soon.